Now that you know how to do a three strand braid, there are multiple other braids, not just the French and the Dutch. There are several other braids that you can do. Uh, I'm going to show you today on how to do a French braid. There are a couple of ways you can start it. You can start with a hair tie by taking some hair and pulling it up and putting it up in a high-low updo like so. Then you're going to take your hair like this and split it into three sections like you would for a normal three strand braid. Let me get a better section. So you're going to go, so for a French, you're going to go, you're going to pull the outside section in on the top. And you're going to go over like that. And now that you have your first stitch of braid, you're going to take hair from the side and add it to the outsides, just to the outside. And you're going to go over, over, add a piece, add a piece, over, over, add a piece, add a piece, and once you get to the base of your head, you can continue braiding down. And then what I do is I pull it to the side and then continue the braid from there. I will go over, over, and notice how I have one big chunk and two tiny chunks on the side. A lot of the times when that happens, you can either start over or I like to, if I have a small piece, I will put it really close to the bigger piece and I will just section off a tiny piece and just add it to it. And so now see that it's thicker than this piece right here, this strand versus that one. That one's a little fuller. So I'm just going to keep going and I'll just pass hair back and forth as it gets thinner. And if I need to, if I want to bring it all the way to my ends and I don't have enough hair in the end, I will do that same method and bring some hair over from the thicker pieces as I'm going. So now pulling it over your shoulder like that will make it a side braid from the back. But as you can see, it doesn't go just straight down. It comes off to the side. So I'm just gonna keep braiding until I either can't or need to add more hair into a section. Now see, for example, I have this one right here. This one's a lot thinner and less full than the other two. So I will just put it close to this one like this and take a small strand and just add it to it and just braid over like that. And I will keep doing that till I feel it's the appropriate length or thickness, whatever you'd like to call it. It does look, end up looking a little funny, but nobody's gonna care. <laughs> no one's gonna know. I mean, sometimes it bothers me, so I care, so I fix it. Um, and now I'm going to take a elastic and I'm going to fasten it at the end. And like for the three strand braid, if you want to keep it regular, just like this, that is perfectly fine. What I like to do sometimes is I will just go through and pull ever so slightly on the other pieces and just make them fluff out a little bit. Just bring a little volume into your braid. And as you do that, your elastic will move to the end of your hair. And that's usually when you untie it and retie it. Whoop. 
or you completely pull out a piece and then you have to untie it and retie it again anyway. So if you have to end up doing that, go up just a little bit further. That way you have more hair to work with. Gonna pull out just a little, not a bunch. Just keep tugging away. And as you tug, it'll get easier and easier as you go up because it's already loose at the bottom. And then once I get to that part, I like to go and tug at the bottoms and flare them out just a little bit more. And now that I have done that to the braid that is now over my shoulder, I will throw it back. And since I did bring it over, it does come off to the side, but now I can just hold my end and pull and keep pulling, keep pulling until it's as fluffy as I want it. And see, it has now moved down from here to here. It's a good couple of inches. Send it. I, it just moved down a little bit. <laughs> um, now I'm just going to retie it, kind of fluff it up a little extra, just poof it out, just like this. And that is one way of doing a French braid. And now the other way you can do it is, let me take this out fast. So you can do it where you start near the, the top of your head or the crown of your head. Um, if you don't have bangs, you can start right here at the front of your head. Um, now when I put my hair in twin braids or pigtails, whatever you want to call it, I will incorporate my bangs into it. That way they're out of the way and, you know, don't have this situation going on. So take out my hair. And then I'm going to take out the hair tie that I had. I'm just going to brush through my hair really quickly just to get most, if not hopefully all, <laughs> of my knots out. Okay. So what... There is a hair. So now for the braid where you can do it without the hair tie, a lot of the times you can start as high as you want. So you can start all the way up here. You can start right here or, you know, wherever. Um, if you're starting, if you don't have bangs and you're starting in the front, this looks really silly. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna start <laughs> like this. And so since we're doing French, you're going over instead of under. And you're gonna add in pieces like this. Just each time adding in a little bit. So now I'm not gonna do that, otherwise I'm gonna look like an utter dork. Not like, you know, I already do. So I'm gonna start from back here and I'm gonna section my hair off into three sections as evenly as I possibly can. And I'm gonna start going over like that. I'm gonna add in a piece. Take the other side, add in a piece, and just keep adding and going over. 
until you reach the bottom. Doing it this way, I personally find it a little easier because you don't have to worry about, you know, the bulk of the hair tie right here, where it's keeping it all in one space, where a braid kind of wants to flow outward um, instead of being tied down as it would be tied down at the end, where things normally just fall to the end. Now once you get to the base of your head, you can continue down, just braiding like this. But by the time I get to the base of my head, my arms are really tired. And so I'll just bring it around the side on my shoulder and I have a smaller section again versus these two bigger chunks. So I will take smaller pieces from the bigger chunks and just slowly incorporate it. I try not to take too much because then, you know, you just go back and forth with big ones, little ones, big ones, little ones. And you can use the pancaking method with this one too. Um, with this one, it may or may not be easier, just depends on <laughs> how you feel. So as I'm getting to the end, instead of going all the way to the bottom till my ends start to pop out like I typically would, I'm going to start up a little higher. Ow. And um, start up a little higher so I have more hair to play with. And... This is what a French braid starting from the top looks like. This one is off to the side a little because I pulled it off to the edge to go over my shoulder. Um, now, if you want to pancake it, you can. Definitely don't have to. It took me forever to figure out how to make it look good. <laughs> if that's a word for it. Um, depending on the style of hair, a pancaked French braid can look good, um, but sometimes a Dutch braid looks better with pancaking. Now I'm just gonna pull everything like this, just to kind of fluff it out. Now I'm going to go through in the back here and just kind of loosen everything up. That way it just sits loosely. And there you have the French braid.